Hi guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to install um, a Siren in GTA IV. Now I'm on lcpdfr.com looking at some sirens and um, this is one that I've made. Um, I've downloaded it to my desktop. Um, there's other sites around, there's um, gtapolicemonster.com that's got uh, sirens as well, but there's um, plenty more, um, just search YouTube. Um, I'm sure that you'll be able to find them easily enough. Um, in the meantime, um, yeah, right. Um, I've just downloaded these to my desktop. Um, I'll just just the README. Um, just use Spark IV or Open IV to install Siren mods and always make backups. Um, I've already made a backup before, um, so I'm not. Don't need to worry about that. Um, <coughs> Now I'm just going to start um, my Open IV. I'm going to select GTA IV rather than FLC because I'm not installing into that. Um, select the one that's appropriate for you. Now we're just going to go click on Open and open our GTA IV directory. Now it's under Computer, C Drive, Program Files x86 for Windows 64 bit or Program Files for Windows 32 bit. Um, mine's x86. Um, Rockstar Games, GTA IV, and then we're in the main directory. Um, then we go PC, audio, and sound effects, and we go down to resident.rpf, and we go open that. Now I've got mine, I want to change a different one, so I'm going to just quickly select that here, you can ignore this, and um, we're going to go find horns, and then we're going to go right click on it, and um, because this is a file we want to. The, yeah, this whole archive is called uh, the resident.rpf, and um, we're just going to replace this one file called horns. And we're going to go right click on it and click replace, and we're just going to go to our desktop um, where we've got the file. And you can see here that um, it's on the desktop. It's called horns.ivaud. Um, that's the file we just downloaded. Well, I just downloaded. Um, so you select that file and just click open and you can see here that it's just got a blank icon and it's just called file there is no it's not the same as the rest of them so we're going to click on here and we're going to go file rebuild go yes um, and yes to this now um, you don't always need to rebuild it but I always do just to be 100% sure um, so it's just going to rebuild that. I'll just take a moment, and that says done. You can open up the archive again, and just to see, you can see that it's this now the same format as the rest of them. And um, that is um, pretty much all it takes um, to install the Siren. Now, if you do need to make backups, you right-click on them and go Extract, and you can choose a place to extract it to. Um, the desktop, for instance, and then you can move it from there, um, like so. Um, I'm just going to delete that because I've got my own backups, so I'm not too worried. Um, but it's a good idea to make backups before you do any um, modding or replacing of files. Um, but that pretty much sums up how to install a siren in GTA IV. Um, FLC is about the same, it's a slightly different directory, but you're pretty sure um, you'll be able to work it out for yourselves. If you need any help, post in the comment section below. Enjoy!